Today we are going to design our cover for our magazine. Um, by now you should have had time to think about the name that you want to use. Um, like I said in the description, the uh, project description, you should try to keep it simple, uh, nothing too long. So, um, so these are some of the um, samples that I found um, that you can draw some inspiration from. This is uh, for a travel magazine. Uh, basically, a lot of them, what they have in common is, you know, they, they put uh, the article titles or what's in it to preview. This one doesn't have page numbers, but I would really like for you to use page numbers. Um, so basically, this is what, what this assignment is essentially. Um, it's the front cover and the back cover. The back cover is always a little bit different. Uh, this magazine that I had with me, um, oh, Southern Living. Uh, the back cover is just an ad, and I wasn't that crazy about it. So you don't have to put an ad, but um, it's really up to you how you want to do it. Um, and again, you know, this is what your magazine is going to be about. I have been just doing some random articles uh, for design so I, I don't really I haven't picked anything I'm just showing you how to use the program but it's up to you what you want to do and uh, this is another example of what's in the back um, it could be generic it's up to you uh, this one has the page numbers like I said uh, one thing I think that you should add to the back is a, a barcode. So you can add a barcode to the back. And uh, these are just examples, okay? All right, so to start uh, this assignment, uh, this is where we left off last time. So let's go to um, pick out some photos. I went ahead and I picked this one because it's al already vertical. So also look at that for the orientation. You don't want to pick out something um, that's uh, landscape and then when you get there, it doesn't fit exactly how you want it. Okay, so I picked that picture. And now what you do is, what I would do is just uh, for the sake of the assignment, I would um, insert, um, a new spread even though it's not going to be a spread because one is going to go in the front and one's going to go in the back and I'll show you what I mean by that okay so first I'm going to design it and then we'll we'll talk a little bit about um, how to set it up okay so I am going to import an image <clears throat> Command D or Control D, and and then we're gonna fit it in proportionately. And if it does not fit, then we just adjust the size. Okay, so let's do it like that. And then we'll add the title. I'm just going to call my travel. It's about travel. Okay. Like I said, if you uh, uh, hold down Command Shift or or uh, Control Shift, you can enlarge it how you want. It's a shortcut. Okay, and I'm going to want that text to be white. I'm just going to pick uh, swatches. Okay, that gives it a better feeling to me. Um, and then maybe put um,
January edition. Twenty twenty. I like those little, uh, that little text being all caps, and I like to open up uh, the tracking. And I would like a different font, a sun serif, if possible. Yeah, like that. And if I can make it bold. Okay. And. Let's, let's be different. Let's rotate it. If you um, hover over the corner, you'll see that little arrow. <clears throat> you hold down shift, it'll, it'll, uh, it'll do it proportionately. All right, it's a little big. So we'll just make it smaller. I want it to be flush on the L. All right, let's see how that looks so far. Beautiful. Okay. So the next thing you want to do is um, start putting, um, you know, your articles here. Best places to live. Let's do that. You might want to bring uh, the text, uh, the letting tighten that up. Once you start blowing up stuff, then it's too much space. When it's a paragraph, you want to increase your space. But when it's uh, a title, sometimes you want to minimize that. Okay, so let's try. Okay. And let's make it maybe bold. Okay. And let's say page 20. I'm just putting that. You can change that in the future if you want to keep this. You're going to probably start moving stuff around, so the cover will probably be, the cover and the content, table of contents, will probably be one of the last things that you do, um, that you, you um, edit. Let's change that a little bit smaller because uh, it's too big. Okay. Okay, so it got lost right there. Okay, uh, shift W. And it's starting to take shape. Okay. Now for the back, like I said, do as you wish, uh, but do something for the back because you're gonna need uh, a back. I am not going to right now, but I'm just going to keep it solid for the sake of this assignment. And I just noticed that I have been 
missing something with a lot of my videos and I'm probably just going to have to add some directions in your assignments but I've been forgetting to show you how uh, to save okay so for instance this is page six to seven you don't want to save the entire document as it's growing uh, you're just gonna want to upload six and seven right that's gonna be the assignment so what you do is you go to file Adobe PD PDF uh, presets and you want to do smallest file size And you say where you want to save it. And then you want to, um, you want to, you don't want to say all. This is where you want to say six to seven. Only those pages, okay? So when you export, it will only show you six and seven, okay? All right, once you did that, then you can move your cover page to, why did it do that? It just took half of, oh no, it, it, sorry, it just moved stuff around. Okay, so that's the cover and this is the back, and this is just some random white page right there. So we're just gonna delete that. Uh, okay. So then we have uh, the cover, this spread. Well, that's not a spread. Those are two different designs that we did, editorials. That spread, and then we have the back cover. Okay, so that's what we have so far. Um, and this is the way you want to, when you're done, this is how you want to send it to a printer, especially one that uh, is a professional printer. Like if you went to like uh, Office Depot, like a print shop, um, they have different ways of printing. So this is for um, a little bit more professional. This is for when you work for a company and you, uh, they're going to mass produce. This is the way they need their file. It's, it's a little bit different when you work for, uh, when, you, when you do it through a print shop. They, they just will print out the pages. You know, it's different. Um, but when you send it, when you send a book to publish, this is how you want it. You want the, 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 uh, the cover page to be on its own and at the end the machine knows it knows how to uh, paginate and at the end it will bind everything together and it has to be done this way okay and then uh, at the end like I said we'll move stuff around we still need the table of contents so uh, I already showed you how you can uh, export specific pages okay uh, now if you wanted to do let's say you had it like this you can also do this file so we know that we want one and six right uh, file um, smallest file size and we can say two. save and we can actually say one comma six if you put hyphen it'll it'll uh, do one through six but one comma six is one and six okay and then you export okay so you should be able to uh, get it like that okay all right if you have any questions please let me know all right take care